Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. If you hadn't already figured it out, I have absolutely no sense of rhythm. And that was my Korg K-Oscillator, uh, I don't know what you call it really, other than uh, Dynamic Phrase Synthesizer. I don't know much about music, but I know that sounds cool when you tap your finger on the pad. Uh, I don't even really know how to spell rhythm, and I kid you not, that is like one of my problem words. I know I was an English major, but that doesn't mean I know everything about the English language. Nor do I necessarily know how to spell. I can't spell rhythm. You could ask me, I could study it for an entire week and still not be able to tell you how to spell rhythm. I have a problem, and I even have a problem keeping the beat. And the only reason I was able to keep that beat is because I, I was able to, to set it on this thing, and you notice that it kind of skipped there at the end because my sense of rhythm does not exist. Now, my brothers, on the other hand, they have an excellent sense of rhythm. My entire family has an, just an amazing sense of rhythm. Of course, they don't know anything about technology. I guess that was the price I paid. No matter, we do have a geek out there in the crowd, M. Bonzo, who's got a top five tips on how to develop a sense of rhythm. Not so much rhythm, but just a sense of rhythm. <clears throat> M. Bonzo from the chat room. This is uh, yet another one of his top five lists that he has submitted. Hey, Chris, I've been a percussionist for 11 years, and I'm currently putting myself through college by teaching private drum lessons. I thought it'd be a good idea to share some key drum exercises after hearing your sense of rhythm on the Chaosolator. Even with a fun little geeky toy, that's really more for DJs and not geeks, but I, I still can't do it. Number one, start practicing on songs that you listen to all the time. Rock or hip-hop songs are easiest in this exercise. Simply listen for an even cymbal hit or an even bass drum beat within the two genres. This will give you a good sense of where the rhythm is. Just tap your foot, doesn't matter which one, to that beat. Make sure that your foot is tapping consistently and, uh, and not tapping any heartbeat-like rhythms. As you tap your foot, try starting counting one, two, three, four. Most rock and hip hop songs are in what is called the four, four time. If you are having problems finding the one, two, three, four, then try to find a song that has more obvious rhythm. Number two, once you've found the four beats, try to add, is that a, is that a rock or a hip hop band? The four beats? Is that a band? Is, I think it's just, maybe it's a reference. Try to add your hands. Try playing the four notes twice as fast or twice as slow. In musical terms, this covers the whole scheme of quarter notes, half notes, and eighth notes. Number three, rub your tummy and pat your head. Oh wait, rub your tummy and pat your head. I can't even do it. Ah! Huh. Okay, I'm not gonna get frustrated. Something that you may have tried to impress people with in grammar school is now significant. Just try to rub your stomach and pat your head at the same time. This will allow you to become detached from having the same rhythmic feel in both arms. Soon you may be able to do all sorts of rhythms that once seemed awkward, such as doing the four even beats with your left hand and at the same time playing beats twice as fast with your right hand. I'm kind of doing okay as long as I'm not talking. Uh, <clears throat> Number four, dance to it. If you are comfortable dancing, you may be able to pinpoint the beat easier. If you can find the beat with the other steps, then keep track of it and get off your butt already. Dance to the music. Tip number five. Oh, he says it's not a tip. He actually wants to see me practicing. So I'm going to turn on the uh, chaosolator again as it boots up. And uh, by the way, I've got just plugged in, you know, through uh, audio out here into my uh, 5.1 surround sound speakers. I'm going to lay down just a random beat and then try to, you know, catch rhythm with it. Uh, but and I got this at thinkgeek.com. I bought this myself. Although I think in the month of March in 2008, 
uh, we're going to get an exclusive coupon for Think Geek. So if you want to get one, you might just wait a little bit because I, I, I might be able to save you a little bit of money. All right, so let's try it here. Oh, it's almost too much work for me. Whew. I'll tell you what, though. Oh. Oh. I think I got it. Oh. I I'm going to go out now. I'm going to see if there are any audiobooks for me to listen to that might help me further develop uh, not just a sense of rhythm, but uh, <clears throat> possibly a better heart condition. Whew. Boy, it's been a while since I've even moved. Literally, I've been in this chair for the past four weeks. Uh, that's the first time I've gotten up since then. Uh, that's crazy. Anyway, if I'm looking for those audiobooks, I'm going to go to web website, and that's audiblepodcast.com forward slash Chris. And if you want to go there and sign up, you can get a free audiobook. Perhaps it's about music or rhythm. <sighs> yeah, I, I think I need to start working out. If you got any other tips for DJs or percussionists or music or whatever, feel free to pass them along. My email address is chris at perillo.com. And every once in a while, you may be seeing me doing a little chair dancing, as I have been known to do. We're streaming this video out live over the internet. And usually I'm not so out of breath, nor am I usually uh, as, as active as I as I just was there, but I, it was fun. I kind of got it. I need to practice a, a heck of a lot more. Anyway, we're typically talking about computer stuff, geeky things. Sometimes it's gadgets and gizmos, and other times it's, uh, well, some other times it's music, and some other times it's, uh, well, you just never really know. But uh, the chat room is open all the time, the video's being fed out there all the time, and we're open all the time. Go figure. And, uh, you know, feel free to stop by anytime, day or night, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Because that's what I mean when I say anytime. At live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.